Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first Binding Key Visual Podcast. I'm your host, Tobias Cropper, a communications associate here at the Binding Key Library. Um, today, I'm here with one of our Binding Key staff, Mike Rush. Hey, Tobias. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I'm going to be talking to various uh, Binding Key staff members as they go through some of their favorite items in the vast collection we have here. And Mike, why don't you just uh, give us a quick rundown about uh, what you do at the Binding Key, how long you've been at the Binding Key. Sure, sure. Yeah. So um, I've been at the Binding Key for 15 years and I came here in 2005. Um, my current role, uh, well, my title is Assistant Head of the Management Unit for Accessioning. So I oversee the staff that's responsible for receiving an initial processing um, of uh, all of our manuscript collections. Um, and so that can span from, uh, you know, uh, medieval manuscripts up to 21st century form digital records, photography, uh, uh, artwork, um, you name it, um, and the collections uh, probably have uh, some of it in it. Great. Um, just before we get into the actual item, what kind of got you into this line of work? What brought you to the Biden Key? I know it's probably a huge question. Sure, sure. Um, uh, you know, I, it's a stereotypical story. I was a history and English major as an undergraduate, and I worked in the, the library at the University of Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And when I was getting close to graduation, talking to people, I said, oh, maybe I'd like to work at a library. And they said, well, you're a history major. You should go talk to the archivist. And I said, the archivist? What's an archivist? <laughs> so I, I, I went over to the university archives and spoke with the archivist at the, uh, the Dodd Center there. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, why don't you come in and process a little collection? And uh, so I did. Um, and in the way that, you know, you can only do when you're, you know, 21 years old, I said, okay, I'll do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, and uh, so I went to grad school at Simmons College and um, my first job was at the Massachusetts Historical Society in Boston. And, and there I learned, um, I became uh, quite adept with uh, encoded archival description, which is an encoding standard for archival metadata. Okay. And that's really the skill that brought me here to the Finding Key. So um, I worked with our finding aids and uh, our finding aid databases um, for uh, the first uh, uh, five or six years I was here uh, before I transitioned into my current role. Great. Love it. Um, so, what do you have for us today? So um, we have at, at the Beinecke the, the archives of um, John Holmstrom and Punk Magazine. Mm -hmm. um, John Holmstrom was uh, one of the creators of Punk Magazine in the mid '70s, and you know they were primary chroniclers of the, the New York punk scene. Um, and uh, in 1978, in January 1978. Um, uh, the Sex Pistols came over from England and did a, a tour of the United States. Um, this is organized by Malcolm Gladwell, their manager. Um, and the tour really kind of exploded the band and they essentially broke up right afterwards. Um, and uh, this is the diary that John Holmstrom kept um, while he uh, was following the band for a bit. Okay. And, um, so why was this the item you decided to pick out? Well, I, it's you know music and a, a time that I love, sure. and it's a collection that I was involved with accessioning and processing. So mm -hmm. it's something that um, you know I'm personally connected to, and I'm interested in that, that time and those people. Yeah, um, and and it's there's it's evocative of the moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, why don't we open it up and read a few of the pages in there? <clears throat> sure. So I'm gonna read a few selections, kind of before and after uh, the Sex Pistols played in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I think this first passage is as he's kind of waiting for the show to start. Tulsa, the real America. Kids are sitting, waiting for the show. No booze, Jesus freaks outside. Show is late, 11 o'clock, no pistols. Alice Cooper on the PA, then reggae. A few people move to their seats. Slowly everyone does, tamest bunch yet. Um, and then uh, he goes through a variety of notes like during the show. Uh, and then I, I like this page, it's, it's kind of like from the end of the show. Um, Steve, that'd be Steve Jones, the guitarist. Uh, Steve, uh, this is our last number. It's called Anarchy in the USA. Some people leave, people leave in droves. Half leave, half stay. Um, applaud like at a Led Zeppelin concert. D-U-L-L -L dull. Um, and then it kind of continues uh, after the show, um, and uh, this is this is this is great. Uh, um, Sid being Sid vicious. Sid at party with TV. How does it feel to be part of the Barkin Band? Paul says he's twenty years old. 
wants to die before he's 25. Rody and Cab. I got all these guys figured out. Sid is just a dumb kid. Steve is a sex maniac. Johnny wants to be a superstar and Paul is just an idiot. <laughs> Great. So um, what's your, what are your take on all of these notes? I mean, the fact that he actually had a journal that he wrote in. Well, I mean, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's there as a journalist and a publisher, so yeah. they needed content for the magazine. Yeah. Um, and I, I just, it, you know, uh, it goes on, but it, it captures kind of the, you know, collision between the band and, and you know, middle America culture and, and, and the tension between them as well. Um, and uh, uh, it, it must have been quite a, quite a scene to, yeah. uh, to, to be a part of for a few days. This is quite a, um, this is uh, definitely a more fun item that, you know, Mining has in the collection. Um, you know, and I'm sure a lot of people don't even know things like yeah, this. Yeah, so we, we, we collect a lot of materials um, around, uh, you know, contemporary culture, particularly counterculture. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Punk Magazine really um, uh, was a great chronicle of the, the punk scene mm -hmm. in New York, but then clearly um, the broader scene um, as punk spread to uh, the UK. Right. Um, and they began to encounter the Sex Pistols and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's, and that's exactly the kind of stuff that we love, you know, this kind of first person account. Um, of uh, you know, very notorious moment in, right. in musical and cultural history. Yeah, so it's good for the general public to know that it's just not med medieval manuscripts. No, no, not just large uh, grand books. And... Yeah, no, it's not just uh, you know um, names you uh, you read in high school or right. uh, English class. It's it's people you listen to and people who uh, um, you know are uh, engaged in changing culture um, mm -hmm. in. Uh, uh, really concrete ways, even if they're not high run ways. For, for the people, you know, looking at this podcast and, um, you know, maybe wanting to do some research here at the Binding Key, um, is there any advice that you may have for them to find things like this? Because, you know, if you look at the database, it's quite... Yeah, it's overwhelming. Quite overwhelming. Yeah. Um, so. um, uh, you know, so we have our Finding a database in our catalog. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, there are lots of ways they can get the stuff. Um, you know, it helps to know the names of the people who have been involved in the time. Mm -hmm. um, we try and capture that as best we can. We definitely advise that you just come and explore it yeah, all. Right? Absolutely. Things, yeah, absolutely. You can, you can never have too much. Um, so is there any other things that you like to say uh, about, you know, researching at the Beinecke or generally visiting the Beinecke? No, I'd just like to reiterate that, you know, we're here for people to to come and visit and do research. If you yeah. have an interest, um, obviously we have wonderful exhibitions upstairs, mm -hmm. um, and people should check that out. But there's so 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 much more for people to uh, come and uh, and research. Um, it takes a little bit of prep, and um, you need to kind of know what you want to see. Mm -hmm. But um, um, we do we do welcome people, and we right. want people to feel uh, like they can uh, partake in the richness of the collection. Wonderful. Well, that's going to end the first visual podcast. Uh, we'll see you next time with our next guest. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Yeah.